Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. And today I would like to show you my ridiculous little car. Ta-da! So most people that know me know I prefer Fords, older Fords to be exact. Um, so there begs the question, why would I buy a Chevy Spark? Well, in the movie Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, there is a character called Skids and he is a Chevy Spark. One man alone, betrayed by the country he loves. Now it's last hope in the final hour of need. Prepare to be driven like never before by the maestro. One man! Alone! Stop saying that! Betrayed by the country he oh loves. Oh my goodness, I'm in the car, okay? You're not alone. Just relax. Here with the maestro. And I bought my daughter a whole bunch of the toys of this. One of them, right here. See? Chevy Spark. So I thought it'd be fun to build a life-size version. The one in the movie is highly modified, but uh, as far as being like similar to the toys are concerned, eh, not a bad job considering I did it on a very, very small budget. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get another car is because I wanted to take the wear and tear off of my other cars. Uh, I was raking up the mileage on them and around here the road conditions can get pretty bad, especially in the winter time. So I wanted something to take the wear and tear off of those cars. Now why this made sense is because I managed to get an absolutely fantastic deal on this car. The reason why I managed to get such a good deal on this car is because cosmetically it was not in very good condition and uh, it still isn't. Like you can see there is uh, scratches and dents everywhere, um, like the, the doors are full of dents. Uh, as you can see there's, there's cracks in the, in the bumper, there, there's dents all down the side. In fact, I'm pretty sure the only panel that doesn't have any dents in it is potentially the roof. Um, the bumper down here, all cracked. So, the car is very, very cheap to run. It's just a one litre engine, a uh, chain driven engine, which makes servicing nice and cheap because it doesn't have a timing belt, it has a timing chain. Um, it's only £30 a year road tax, which is nice and cheap. One of the things I do love about this car is how basic and simple everything is. Uh, the interior was pretty tatty when I got it as well, gave it a clean up as best as I could. But, very nice, simple, basic instrument cluster right here. Speedo and everything else. If we pop the ignition on for you. There we go. I got the car on something like 82,000 miles, now it's on 84,000 miles. So that's pretty good for its age, should have plenty of life left in it. And because it was in such bad cosmetic shape, I didn't really care too much about messing around with it, modifying it, it was just a bit of fun. Um, so as you can see I put the vinyl stickers on the side to match the toys. Uh, I chose the ghost camouflage, it's quite nice when you get up close. Uh, put the transformer badges on the side, sprayed the wheels black, uh, put a transformer sticker on. And mainly I re-sprayed the bonnet black. Now there is one subtle little touch in here. If I get really close you might be able to see it. Excuse the watermarks, I haven't washed the car very well. As you can see right there, there is a transformer logo in the paintwork. Now how I did this is I sprayed it with one shade of black put some masking tape over it, carved out the Transformers logo, sprayed the whole bonnet with a different shade of black and then peeled the masking tape off. So yeah, the great thing about my ridiculous little car is that it's super super cheap to run. Uh, I don't have to be too careful with it because it's already in poor cosmetic condition. I can do stupid things with it. And it's really just a little bit of fun. So I just want to let you guys know that not all of my videos are going to be about break dancing. Uh, even though it's a massive part of my life, I don't want the videos in the channel to get too repetitive and boring. So we're going to get up to all kinds of other shenanigans and uh, hopefully you enjoy all our random fun and nonsense. So I said that the roof doesn't have any dents, probably does now because I'm sitting on it. If you want to support the channel, smash that like and subscribe button. That was my ridiculous little car and this is the end.